Our next job should be confirmed tonight. We'll talk about it tomorrow. It's getting pretty late. You should sleep. We've got our new orders. What is it this time? I'm sick of fighting those lizard things. We're doing guard duty at Lazulus Castle. A bit more appealing, eh? Not bad. The Count's throwing a ball. He's invited all the cities rich and powerful, and they don't have the manpower to cover it. <laughs> I bet there'll be some classy drinks on offer. We're heading off as soon as you're all ready. Got that? Ready to go? Then let's head to the castle. Lazulus Castle, Count Argonon's abode. The wedding was but one month away, and the whole castle was filled with excitement and anticipation. After all, the great houses of Argonon and Rambolt were to be joined in holy matrimony. Such a momentous occasion was the focus of the entire empire. Wow, would you look at that? Well, I'll tell you, this Argonin chap is no slouch. Seren, stop gawping like an idiot. The ball is due to start soon. There could be feuding nobles together in the same place. So take care that nothing unfortunate happens. Sure thing. Soren, try not to show off your complete lack of class, eh? Shut your pie hole! You're a fine one to talk. A knight. What's up? I was just thinking. I've got a long way to go. Ah, you mean the knights? They're in a different league to us. People may fear us mercenaries, but they look down on us too. I'll join them. Someday. <laughs> dream on, mate. It's no dream. Follow me and I swear I'll make knights out of all of you. I know you will. I need to sort out a few things here before the ball. You can go take a look around. Knowing the layout of the castle might come in handy. Oh yeah, if you want to go back, show this to the guard at the gate. It seems the Lazarus Knights are being trained by Jed. Can you tell me? Can you tell me what color these are? Please refrain from entering this room. I'm sorry, but this area is not ready yet. Is there any, is there any jewel in the world that is beautiful enough to suit me? Is that one of your friends bellowing in the courtyard? Can't you do something? I can't leave my post. Are you starting, mate? You want to say that to my face? Come on, then. Say it again if you're hard enough. I heard the way you said mercenary just now. And? That is what you are, is it not? 
I'm saying I can't stand your holier-than-thou attitude. Your delightful manners are just what one would expect from a mercenary. Oh, you really want your ass kicked, don't you? Then bring it! Stay your blade. General Astarth. You want some as well, you old git? Lady Mercenary, I apologize to you for my pupil's behavior. However, this is causing quite a spectacle. So would you humor me and leave your weapon sheathed? Sure, whatever. You've killed the mood now anyway. And... I've got better things to do. A minor crisis averted? This day is a joyous one. We ought to enjoy it. Sir Therius, what were you thinking? No one would believe you were a knight if they saw you behave in such a manner. General. The public expects us to act with decorum at all times. To betray that trust is a great dishonor. My sincere apologies. <laughs> Raise your head, Therius. No need to look so depressed. My apologies, General. Hmm. You know, I just paid a visit to the castle barracks. I see. Your thoughts, General. Lazarus Island is too peaceful. The result? Knights who forget their swords. They think not of their duty but only of themselves. I agree, General. The knights I see here are totally devoid of aspirations. Indeed, the mercenary we just met seemed much more adept as a swordsman. Quite. Therius, I am thinking of training another knight here. You wish to take on a new pupil? Is that worry I hear? Fear not. I doubt anyone could surpass you. Therius, I feel that the cloying peace of this island hides something darker. If there is anywhere that requires honorable knights, is it not this island? Agreed. And this island is a key location. So, having a knight here who the people can trust could ensure peace throughout the entire empire. Indeed. Sir Therius, when that time comes, you must work together with that person. Yes, General. It will be as you wish. Therius, it's just you and me. No need to be so formal. As you command. Therius, I just said not to... Well, no wonder you're not a hit with the ladies. The city's nice enough, but the castle's filled with some right creeps. Entry is forbidden to all but knights. Leave immediately. That uncouth woman... That uncouth woman raised her hand to that knight. How she faltered when she saw General Astar's magnificent form. Seren's flashed her fangs, eh? She excels at making trouble. 
By the way, I think Dagron's all done with the preparations. He should still be on the second floor, near the top of the stairs. It seems the Lazarus. We finished sorting out the details. Are you ready, Zale? Right. Time for work. Don't let me down. Lady Callista's engagement was to be celebrated with an extravagant ball. Nobles and aristocrats gathered from all over, not wishing to miss such an occasion. Zale, we're on duty. Shut your mouth. But there's almost nothing to do. Well, you better get used to it. This might not be a one-off. If we play our cards right, we'll be attending these events regularly. Come on. Do you really believe that? Just pay attention. You don't want to embarrass yourself when the time comes. If we can impress people now, then becoming knights might not be a fantasy. Please, Zale, this is important. Hey, take a look. Oi, mercenary, here, now. You do not even look at the Count or Lord Jarrell. You got that? Hey, take a look. That's our boss, Count Harganen. Hey, take a look. That's our boss, Count Harganen. He was the previous Count's younger brother, had no title of his own. But the previous Count suddenly died some years ago. His daughter, Callista, should have succeeded him. But she's a woman, and at the time she was just a child. So that was when our boss stepped in to be the head of the family. That said, it's not all due to luck. He's got cunning and guile, too. In only a few years, he's expanded his family's power and influence significantly. And that man next to him is Lord Jural, heir to the house of Duke Rambolt. He's the man Lady Callista is going to marry. The house of Rambolt is famous for having imperial blood in its lineage, but it's a house on the decline. Lord Jural's marriage to the daughter of a mere count can only be a play for power. They can see that the house of Argonon is on the rise. Lords and ladies, presenting Lady Callista. Oh, wow. Look at her. Oh, wow. Look at her. Oh, wow. Look at her. This rose, so lovely, but compared to you it is but a weed. Now, walk with me. Oh, 
Dale. Look, isn't that no doubt? It's Lisa. Now that's a shock. It's like she's a completely different person. Dale, nobles are out of our league. All the more so with the Count's niece. Try and forget what happened last night, for both your sakes. Look, there's something wrong with Lady Callista. Where are you going, my muse? I must apologize, Lord Jarrell. I feel somewhat woozy. Wait, I... <laughs> such a delicate flower, no doubt nervous. It is her first time at such a magnificent ball, you see. Looks like Lady Killer. Oi! You! Let me pass. I need to go outside. What are you yapping on about? Get back to your post! Oh boy. Hey. He said he needed to go outside, didn't he? There was a change to the roster. Weren't you paying attention? I have heard nothing of the sort. That's odd. Look, come with me and we'll go and sort this out. I cannot leave my position unguarded. Well said. Zale, new orders. Guard this spot until we get back. Lisa. S sorry, I mean Lady Callista, right? Zale, why are you here? Yeah, my fault for not mentioning it earlier. Wait, where are my manners? My services have been contracted by the Count as a hired guard, milady. You're a mercenary. Then it seems we were both hiding something. I suppose we're even. And please, don't talk to me in such a formal way. But, milady. It's okay. Nobody's listening. You have my special permission. I am truly grateful for your kind words, milady. <laughs> Seriously, you're the Count's niece? I gotta say, I was surprised. But it does explain a bit about last night. Was I that strange? No. I just thought a smelly ogre had disguised himself as a human. <gasps> what do you mean, himself? <laughs> <laughs> say, Callista, are you okay? You look like you were gonna cry. What? If you don't want to get married, you should just refuse the offer. But my uncle would never allow it. He aims to put Jural in a position of power within the Empire, then use his influence from behind the scenes. And he's willing to do absolutely anything to achieve that goal. Anything. When my father passed away, my uncle inherited his title and land. This place changed a lot after that. All who opposed my uncle disappeared. Issues which were discussed openly started to be resolved in secret, behind closed doors. People started dying under mysterious circumstances. Sometimes I even wonder about my father's sudden passing. But if I oppose my uncle, I dread to think what will happen to everyone. I don't have a choice. But, Callista, surely you can't be... Of course I'm not happy with it. 
How could I be? They watch me, even when I sleep. It's impossible to get a single moment's peace. Then I wake up the next morning and hear that someone's died. Just another victim of my uncle's ambitions, no doubt. I feel so weak and powerless. Like I have to put up with it until I die. I don't know what I should do. <laughs> Lord Jarrell, over here! Ah, here is my muse. Callista, an opera without the leading lady makes for a rather poor show, do you not think? Are you trying to embarrass me, my kitten? No, I'm sorry, it's just... Yes, yes, never mind. Now, come with me! Lord Jarrell, please wait! Just who are you? A mercenary? My lord, Lady Callista has informed me that she isn't feeling well. Please let her rest for a while. I'll do no such thing. She is my betrothed. What I do with her is my business. Stand aside. If she's your fiancé, shouldn't you treat her a bit better than that? Zale! What did you say? Just what are your intentions towards Callista, you cur? It seems you were enjoying your private little chat. Lord Jarrell, please stop. That's not how it was at all. Why do you defend such a lowly wretch? Oh, I see. Callista, how could you let yourself be seduced by this commoner? No, you're mistaken. I will not tolerate you openly wooing my betrothed. Draw your sword, you filthy dog. What's wrong? Are you scared, you craven cur? What? Just now I heard screams. What are you babbling about? Face me, you were. Quiet! It's the correct. What? That's impossible! This is Lazarus Castle! Why are the Gurak here? No! Look out! somewhere safe. Someone, please! Save me! <laughs> Callista! Stand back! There's so many of them. Zale, what do we do? Well, I am a mercenary after all. It's my job to fight them off. Then I shall fight too. Are you out of your mind? This is a real battle. You could die if you're not careful. I can use magic, you know. Plus this is... Are you okay, Zael? Here, I'll see to your wounds. Thanks. Is this the same magic that Narania uses? When it comes to using magic, no one can rival the House of Argonon. Really? But... The Garak haven't attacked us in decades. Why now? Kalista, it's dangerous here. Find somewhere to hide. I'm going to fight too. What? I told you, the magic use is without fear. Okay. Just take care. Right. General Astor, Sertharius! Lady Callista, I am relieved you are well. I think it would be more prudent to worry about the Garak right now. <laughs> you hear that, Therius? We cannot lose this battle. As you command, General. I can fight too. Do not desert us, mercenary. Of course not. How about you?
General, this area is secure. We should protect the Count. Quite. Make haste. You there, lad. Protect Lady Callista. Our duty is to protect Count Argonon and Lord Gerard. I am Astar. What's your name, lad? Zael, sir. A fine name. And that strange power of yours. Can I rely on it? Yes, sir. I can control it. A good answer. Just do not let it become a crutch. Well then, Master Zael. I leave Lady Callista in your care. Yes, sir. We can't go down, sir. I'm seeing a different side to you now. But I guess it's the same for you. The Guraka here already. Be careful. There's more of them. Please, wait. What's wrong? This is my chamber. Do you think it's all right if I get changed quickly? Get changed? Now? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, please, wait outside. <sighs> yeah. Okay, all done. We can take the walkway beyond this door. Time to lose. Right. The castle is in ruins. I'll get them for this. Them. Callista, let's move. Help me! I can't beat them by myself! Thanks for rescuing me. Please 
with after Lady Callista. It's still dangerous. We just need to get through the Great Hall, and we're outside. Stand back. This one's different. He's not like the other Garak. You dare stand in the way of a king, a foolish and devil boy. King? You're the king of the Garak? Indeed. No, that I am Zemzak, king of the Garak. King or not, I won't let you get away with this. It ends right now! <laughs> You should escape. You can't hope to beat him. <laughs> Where is she? Dagrin, did you see Callista? No. When I arrived, it was just you here. Damn it. Hey, take it easy. Everyone in the castle is looking for Callista. Let them handle it. No. I, I can't. I have to protect her. Hey, wait up. What's gotten into you? Callista's been kidnapped, and I couldn't do anything about it. 